guys, Jill here for Premiere Basics, a weekly series where I teach you all the ins and outs of Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, someone recently commented, Hey, Jill, I would love to see some music video effects. Please? Well, you're gonna be happy. Because today we're gonna create five awesome music video effects. Now, let's start with a simple one to start things off. Now, for this effect, we're going to need a shot of someone. Preferably a close-up shot. Now fire up Premiere Pro and drop your shot into the timeline. Then right off the bat, we're gonna create a freeze frame from this shot. Right click on the clip and select Add Frame Hold. Then with the clip selected, go to the effect controls and make a mask that starts in the middle of the person's lips, then goes to the corner of its mouth, straight down to the chin, around the chin, and back to the other corner of the mouth. Now duplicate this layer to track number two. And you can do this by holding Alt while dragging. Now feather the mask a tiny bit. Then go to layer one and invert that mask. Now we actually got a cutout of our mouth from the character. And what we can do now is use the position property of track number two to lip sync the mouth to the music. So click on a stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. Then try and recreate the movements of the mouth. Once you're done with it, it will look a bit like this. Now select both layers, right click and nest them. This feels super static, so we're gonna make it more dynamic by putting some handheld motion on here. And that effect is actually super simple to find because you can just download it from our website, premierebasics.net. So head to the first link in the description down below to get access to our handheld presets and so much more video assets like transitions, glitches, and so much more. Now once downloaded and imported, simply look for the handheld effect in the effects panel and I'm going for the TLA Extreme Motion preset. Now drag and drop this onto the nested layer and BAM! The next effect is a super nice way to create an old CRT TV look and that you can easily place into a shot like this for example. Okay, so first we put our clip in the timeline. Let's start with creating an adjustment layer, which you can do by right-clicking in the project panel. Then drag it above your video and make it the same length. Okay, then move on to the effects panel, because we're gonna need a whole bunch of effects to create this. And most of these are quite heavy, so you might want to render your timeline a lot. I start off with the grid effect and place that onto the adjustment layer. So the size from to width and height sliders and the color to black. Now I'm going for a width and height of 3 and a border of 2. But this is of course customizable. The width and height properties are the spacings between the lines and the border is of course the thickness of the borders of these lines. Now I prefer it to be barely noticeable. I set the blending mode to overlay and I prefer to set the opacity to 70. But this is personal preference of course because I want it to be subtle like I said just before. Okay, once done, look for the lens distortion effect. I'm going to set the curvature to around 50 and the vertical properties to 10. The horizontal properties I set to 3 or 4. And then I'm going to disable the visibility of track number 2 for a moment. Because we're now going to place effects on the bottom clip. Now start off with the noise effect and set it to around 10 or 15%. Now make sure the color noise checkbox is selected. Now since those old TVs often have a flickering going on, we're going to create one as well. So put the brightness and contrast effect on the clip as well. Set the contrast to about 25. And now we're going to animate the brightness. So start with 0. Set a keyframe, then go a frame further in time and set it to something like 10. Then move another frame further and set it to something else, like 3 for example. Then maybe 12, 7, 2, 5, 14. And now we have about 6 keyframes. Simply select all of these and just copy them. Then move a frame further than the last keyframe and paste them. And keep on repeating this until the end of the clip. And once done, make track 2 visible again. Then select both tracks and nest them together. Then find yourself a shot of an old TV and put your shot in there. If it's a shot like this from Storyblocks, we can simply key out the green and place our video underneath it. BAM! Now look at this. Next up is a nice effect for when you want to make some transitions. All you need is a piece of video and it can already be an edited piece of course. Then nest the videos from the edit. Then put the posterized time effect on it and set the posterized time to 8 for example. Then look for the channel blur effect and I'm going to set the red and blue blurriness to 50 and check the repeat edge pixels box. Then we're going to need some textures. You can find these online. Now download a couple of these and place them over the video track. Place a new one on each time there is a cut or use the same one but change them up a bit with the motion properties. And to finalize, place an adjustment layer above the videos and place the crop effect on it. Then set the right and left properties to around 14% and set the edge feather to 50. This will give you a vintage 4x3 look. 
Now, next up is a cool glitchy distortion effect that you can create to spice up a video or to use as a transition. First, we're going to use the color emboss effect. And once again, we're going to animate one of the properties here. And this time, it will be the relief property. So find the beats in your music and animate the relief randomly on those beats. Now, you can also play around with different directions if you want. Then look for the invert effect and place it on this video as well. Set the channel to in-face chrominance and play around with the blending on the same timings as the animation of the relief property from the color emboss effect. Now it takes a bit of time to animate this all, but once you've done this, you will get this cool distorted effect. Now of course, if you want more transitions or glitches, you can go over to our website premierebasics.net and have a look at our amazing video packs. Here you can find multiple presets, like for example the handheld preset that we've just used and some glitch presets. You can buy the commercial license for these for $9, which doesn't only give you a lifetime usage for a commercial project, but it also supports this channel a lot. And once downloaded, you can simply import them in Premiere Pro and then simply drag and drop them onto your footage. Awesome, right? Now check it out by clicking on the first link in the description down below to get access to all of our awesome video packs and so much more. Okay, the last effect. Now make sure that once shooting your footage that you stay in the middle of the screen. Then in Premiere Pro, look for the mirror effect. And now we can cut our clip into a couple of pieces and play around with the mirror effect. Now for example, if you set the reflection angle to 90 degrees, you will get a horizontal mirror like this. Now make sure to play around with the reflection center if you don't like the look of the effect. Now another thing that we can do is set the angle to 60 degrees and then duplicate the effect and set it to 120. Then play around with the center until you get this awesome triangle look. Now of course you do see a black background now, but we can easily hide this by duplicating the clip and set a Gaussian blur effect on the bottom clip. Don't forget to check the repeat edge pixels checkbox. Now don't forget to upscale the bottom clip and you can also animate it if you want. And with this mirror effect, you can get a whole lot of awesome looks. Now let's have a look at our final video where I combined all of these effects. Look, I've been waiting too long and it shouldn't take a week up. Put on your favorite dress, I see you got dancing feet up. Party on a Sunday, drugs just a sleeper. Living for the moment, put it all on your visa. Mona Lisa Bonet, Patron in the OJ. Drink to UK, yo. Any are you okay? Good taste in music, many fresh and co play. Fresh you like the workout, no zannies or no cocaine. When Steve was chasing Laura, baby, all I want is you. When Brock was chasing Nerdy Joy, all I want is you. When Thea wanted Justine, all I want is you. When Helga wanted Arnold, baby, all I want is you. But they don't listen. Awesome, right? I'm already looking like a real rapper. <laughs> okay, so that was it for today, guys. Make sure to leave a comment down below if you want a specific effect being made in one of our future tutorials. I'll see you guys next week for a new tutorial, of course. And as always, stay creative.